Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. Lovely to see you here all tonight. And of course we're making um, a very, very easy project tonight. Needle felting onto water soluble paper to only then transfer it onto a hessian. And you can see that the um, this is the hessian. This is what we will be using. And also um, the water soluble paper. I've just got a couple of smaller pieces here. There, something like that. Looks very deceptively like uh, just a piece of dried up um, um, baby cloth, which uh, baby wipe, which I have actually done in the past. I've used it um, accidentally, where I thought, or wet wipe, where I thought, oh, there's a bit of water soluble paper. Use this, and then it just didn't work because um, well you can actually needle felt onto it it just won't dissolve in paper but in water but we're not going to do this tonight anyway so um, let's um, and, and here they are a little bit closer up as well so if you're interested in doing this stay tuned if you're interested in a bit of fun and banter stay tuned too if you're making along welcome and I'm sure you have plenty of opportunity to um, to make your own little bunting square already and then later on you can make lots more to make a beautiful bunting like the one here in the background but I'm going to just quickly check who's here tonight um, this is a live stream on Facebook on the 27th of June 2023 but if you're watching this anytime in the future on our YouTube channel or indeed on Facebook all I'm asking you to do is give us the thumbs up give us a like whether you're on YouTube give us a thumbs up follow our channel and uh, make sure you don't miss out on any new tutorials or any new videos that we post and if you're watching this on Facebook please give us a thumbs up because you can right okay so let's have a look who is here um, tonight um, right start at the beginning um, and of course anything that I mentioned during this live stream I'm gonna uh, pop the product links directly onto the feed afterwards um, because that makes sense to not disturb the the whole chat going on right now so we have got Diane is there hello Ooh, Diane is watching from sunny Spain why don't you rub it in Diane just as the weather is changing in the UK you're off to Spain good move uh, Michael is there. Hello, Michael. Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Laura. Katerina. Um, Emma is there. Ulla. Um, Carol is there. Hi, Carol. Um, and we've got Gina there. Um, I think Colette might be here as well. Mel, Maureen and um, a few others no doubt will be joining. So, um, I thought it would be really nice, I don't know, this might be telling my age, but I don't know about you, if, if you've spotted it, but the colours we have chosen here in the background for the bunting are very 70s, right? Now I'm a child, I grew up in the 70s, and um, I swear to you, our wallpaper was almost like that, flowers of that colour, and then uh, maybe a bit of brown thrown into the mix as well. Gosh, that was so, how can I say, so 70s. <laughs> but tell tell me tell me that would be the fun bit uh, tell us your worst experience I mean I'll just give you an example of what I'm sort of angling for my my mother was an avid knitter and crocheter and um, she she knitted and crocheted in those colors and she dressed me from top to toe um, in a in a striped crocheted outfit with these colors exactly those I mean honestly these colors that's it that's what I wore from head to toe and then to top it all she actually made my Dolan outfit exactly the same so here we were side by side looking identical um, in these um, in this in these the things that at the um, that sort of make make their way around on social media for a joke that is was what was really happening for real so tell us a funny story of one of your cool 70s outfits or maybe flower power um, experiences uh, during the 60s as well you can you can put any other um, date into there if you want so what you need tonight I've got here right in front of me so I'm going to show you this so I've got a felting mat um, now I'm going to use our earth friendly felting mat and I've got the firm side facing up because with flat needle felting the firm side always works really well I've also got a brush mat here now this is well used if you buy if you have one brand new um, it doesn't matter whether they're blue or green or whatever they're they're basically exactly the same now I actually like to face these out because they're plastic and we don't really need them however if you have one of these tools don't buy a new one but if you have one of those then um, they typically only work with this particular brush mat so 
Um, sadly, they often get missold and people don't really know why they're buying them and what they're used for. But if you do have one of those, it needs to be used with a brush mat like this. This is just about workable on here, but you really, really have to force it. And you probably have to use the soft side anyway. I really don't think it works very well. So these two, however, if you have got a Clover 5 needle felting tool, this works brilliantly on our earth friendly felting mat and on our eco wool mat. Now, some of you might have seen these. These are exclusive to us and it works just as well as it works on here. So happy to use either of those. And then of course, just a single needle and I have got mine ready in my handy little magnetic needle case so that they don't fall out if I accidentally knock it off the table. You also need some colored wool. Now I've gone with the colors of the 60s, so it's up to you. You can um, do different 60s or 70s if you like. I, um, You can use different um, colors um, if you wish. So with some bits in my wool. And uh, so that will, I'm, I'm planning to maybe do two flowers. And then some water soluble paper. Now, as I said, the water soluble paper, sorry, it's a bit crinkled, it doesn't really matter. The water soluble paper is a particular style. It's only available, um, well, it's not only available, but we do sell it. It's the only one we sell on our website, put it that way. And um, and it's it's particularly useful because you can look, you can have a template underneath it and draw around at the template. So we love this for needle felting. And um, I tell you a little bit more about the water soluble paper later. And then we've got some hessian here. Now you don't need necessarily hessian, you can use any sort of fabric, you can use felt, you can use cotton, so you can uh, make a bunting out of um, all kinds of different uh, materials. The hessian has a disadvantage in that it frays and sometimes you have to pull these bits out gently to stop them from um, looking too tatty. And then of course, if you have had our printed newsletter, because you will have ordered from us in May, then uh, you will have had the template on, on the back of our newsletter and even the instruction instructions step by step. If you haven't got this physical newsletter, then you can get it um, online from our website. I've posted the link in the, in the description of this um, um, video and I will post it again in the comments, but this is only on Facebook. So if you are watching this, on um, YouTube, then you need to go onto our website, um, which is www.themakers, with two S's, don't forget, .co.uk, and type into the search bar Hessian Flower Bunting, and then it will come up um, automatically, and you can print off the page with the flower template on there. Right, so I'm going to get st straight started, but before I do this, I'm just gonna have a quick check-in with the chat and see if you've got any um, terrible color stories or dress stories or anything like that to tell us. Um, oh, some others have joined us. We've got Maury in there and Hayes and um, Dawn is there. Oh no, Dawn says it always takes me so long to find you. So um, the best way to find us is is to, to literally keep refreshing the page when you are on Facebook, on our Makers page, keep refreshing it because sometimes your, um, you need, your computer needs to catch up that we're actually live. We are live, but it hasn't sort of refreshed itself. So just, and to refresh it, if you're watching this on a computer, all you need to do is just, um, there's a ref there is a, should be a refreshing bot button at the top of your bar or just click, uh, do a click, um, on the long um, URL on the long address at the top where it says facebook.com and then live producer da 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 lots of numbers and so on just click on there and um, so that it's highlighted then click again and then press the return button on your on your laptop I, I hope that's how I do it anyway um, there's only a year between myself and my older sister says Carol our mo mother always dressed us identically when, <laughs> when we were young oh like twins uh, Lorna has uh, joined us as well. Hi, Lorna. Um, okay, let's start. Here we go. So, um, overhead camera. So I've got my template here. I've got my water soluble paper. And all I need now is, and I didn't mention that, is a pencil. So you can see how easy you can uh, trace onto your water soluble paper with um, the, the, the template showing through. So I'm going to do this promptly now. There we go. 
and a blunt pencil, a blunt soft pencil always works better than a, um, a sharp pointy pencil that might catch the fibrous uh, water soluble paper. Ah, that's it. All drawn on. Transferred my outline of the flower onto the water soluble paper. Now I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller because this is always the test. Do these scissors work? I should have some better scissors here because I do need to do quite a bit of cutting um, later on when I have to cut it out. But remember, I cut all my wire with uh, scissors, so it's never good um, to assume that I've got working scissors here. Right, so um, now all I need to do is color this in. So the, why are we using water soluble paper if we're not dissolving it? I will answer that question in case somebody's wondering. So water soluble paper is actually a perfect base to needle felt on and still create a really thin layer of wool so that you don't have to just felt the wool in on itself and it becomes quite um, thick. So that's, it's a perfect way to, uh, to create this thin layer. And, um, and you don't need to um, dissolve the water soluble paper, but you can cut around it and then we're transferring it straight onto the hessian. Now these flowers have still got the water soluble paper in and it just gets absorbed into the fabric of the felt and the hessian. So you don't need to um, dissolve it. The only reason why you would want to dissolve the water soluble paper is if you wanted the flower to be a separate shape and stay, say, stay so. If you then dissolve the water soluble paper, leave a little bit of the stickiness in, so don't wash it out. Just literally dip it into water and you'll have sticky fingers. And using the water soluble paper that way will mean that when it's dry, it will add as a fabric stiffener. So that means that the, it's not going to be floppy as it, as it is if you just felt it. It will have a, a stiffness to it. And what's more, whilst you're drying it, you could dry it in a certain shape. So you could have a cup shape for a flower or a taking off shape for a butterfly um, or for a leaf. It could just be like a, a, a dish shape. So um, that is why you, you have the... Um, why you have the water soluble paper when you dissolve it in there. But for this project, we are using the water soluble paper, but we're not dissolving it. So, however, I'm starting now to uh, needle felt. And the first thing I do is I'm going to start by adding the wool. Now you can start on the outside or in the center, but on the instructions, I've started on the outside. So I'm going to use the orange wool for this. And now I've got to make the wool fit inside um, each petal. There are two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you both. So take smaller amounts of wool than you actually probably expect. And then if you have small amounts of wool, you can almost sort of see the line of the petal shape shining through the wool. Get the outline felted on, as I've done here. You can even felt some of the rest down. And then you're going to bend the wool that's outside the line inward to make a nice neat shape. That's one way of doing it. Okay. Now, don't worry too much about keeping that center completely without wool because you are going to put a middle into that. So, obviously, this is fastened on. Now, the first thing you need to do is lift it off your mat because you are stabbing an awful lot of fiber straight through your water soluble paper into your felting mat. So, you will want to lift it off regularly. At this point, you can use your multi tool and felt it down much, much faster. If you have the brush mat and your seven needle felting tool, same thing. Felt it down. It makes it so much easier, if, especially if you're making a bunting and you want to churn these things out quickly. Look how many fibers are being pushed through that water soluble paper. Now sometimes what can happen, as it's happened here, is that the wool gets pulled away from the edge and that is because the wool gets pulled in where you're stabbing it because it's um, obviously getting felted. If that is the case for you, take a wispy bit of fibre and just fold it over and place it, place it exactly where you need to fill in the gap and then just felt that down first so that you've already got a neat edge. And I've actually shown you the second way of how you can put the wool down and felt it down um, without having to felt into the outline and then folding the wool inward. So, but I'm going to step that down quickly as well. Now remember, with these felting tools, you cannot come from a side. You have to come from above. 
um, they really won't thank you if you come sideways they the needles will break and remember to lift it off and that is how fluffy it will look from the other side now that's really important that the wool um, fluffs up like this because when we're attaching it to the hessian that is what we're using to push through the hessian so you've got to work your way around each petal so I'm using the different method now to make the um, the fill in the petal by folding the wool and adding the folded line down first there are probably other ways if you think of other ways let me know how you do it you might have found a particular good method that we all need to learn felt it down it's really important you felt it down in the middle um, as well because that is how the how the wool gets pulled away from the edge um, and um, I'm just going to push it a little bit towards the edge and then you can use your multi-tool stab it away um, don't worry about the center um, obviously we need to see how big the circle is but um, if you, you can do it from memory or visual visualization of um, what's the word no that's that's a rubbish thing to say um, if you if you can see it on the template and compare it to where you need to be but otherwise make sure that you keep that middle um, free if you need to see that circle so just tease the wool away from the center but it doesn't matter if you cover the center because we're going to put another layer into the middle in a minute right I think you get the gist of doing this it is really really a very easy project um, to do so get the wool felted down each petal is quite repetitive it's the sort of thing you want to do when you have had a hard day and you don't want to think much about any technical bits in needle felting just basically get get to sit down relax maybe have a cup of tea or maybe you're drinking other things in the evening maybe a glass of wine whatever you do to help you wind down just get your felting needles out and it's no different from making lots and lots of granny squares if you're making buntings maybe you are uh, helping to decorate um, a wedding um, room or I don't know whatever whatever it is this it doesn't have to be this this type of um, design you can do all kinds of designs as long as you've got a template um, it could be different motifs it doesn't have to be flowers even um, whatever takes your fancy so um, I thought that might be um, a really nice easy project because guess what this is our last live stream make along for a little while and um, the reason for that is that uh, during the summer holidays or summer break I'm going to work on lots of tutorials that I will upload onto YouTube directly and also share onto Facebook because we need we have a lot of um, uh, videos that need updating tutorials that need updating on our web on our website because we've got loads and loads of tutorials but they are using different tools that we don't even use anymore lots of them have still got foam mats in the pictures and of course we've ditched the foam mats over three years ago and so we need to catch up and make it all um, fit into our product range that we're offering now so therefore all I can offer you um, is that um, so basically we've got um, the next live stream is the unboxing and the unboxing is of our um, is of our um, koala now I can't remember if the dates were right or not but um, let me just have a quick look they might be wrong because the next time I see you is actually I think it's the 4th of July so let's see yes it's been changed so today is the 27th of June that's what we're doing right now and then we've got the koala to look forward to and this is actually um, the koala that you will be making he's um, he's got he's, he's, he's almost like he's meditating he's quite a sweet little slightly stylized koala but you can make him more realistic and I will give you some tips and hints of how you can do that and then uh, we're jumping straight to the unboxing in August so um, sometimes sometimes you need a little break to appreciate what you're missing so hopefully you'll miss me all terribly that's what I'm hoping for and you will say Steffi come back and then um, but there's all kinds of other things happening especially our makers flock 
membership subscription is starting and I did tell you last time it's starting on the 30th of June it's actually starting on the 1st of July because obviously we want to start at the beginning of a month um, so that we have chance to um, to send all the stuff out in the future when um, when when it, when it's month by month so watch out for this because we will be announcing this on the 1st of July which is Saturday make sure you signed up to our newsletters and do get your membership secured and um, I can't can't wait to tell you more about this there is just so much um, I tell you what I'm gonna give you a sneak a sneak peek what we're actually doing so bear with me um, so right um, oh, I just need to find all the written down stuff so that you know what might be coming up so the make um, subscription um, makers um, sorry subscription let's just do that okay I will find it and I will tell you what the benefits are okay I don't want to keep you longer in suspense and um, because you're all here now I'm going to tell you because you've made the effort to be here so I tell you right here we go you can sign up for a members UK or worldwide pay monthly membership okay the membership fee is going to be £9.90 or you can sign up for an annual membership, which is £108.90, and, um, and that means you get one month free. The postage is free in the UK. There will be every month we send stuff out to you, um, but obviously the overseas um, postage will be charged at the standard rates. Now you can find these on the website. However, we are also offering a digital membership for UK and worldwide, but this is only available um, no, this is available in any, whether you pay monthly or annually, and that is £7.50 a month, and it's £82.50 per year. And again, you get a month free if you, um, if you pay um, the whole amount in, in one go. And this is an online subscription with digital content and benefits only. Oh my goodness, here it starts. After 12 months continuous membership so you're not cancelling and you're not uh, breaking it up and coming back again or anything like this you will automatically be elevated to become a fellow and the fellow has as uh, benefits in that you in that your fee goes down by one pound every month but you're getting the same benefits if not more so um, we also have um, I think that the the uh, worldwide membership that's going to be changed you won't be able to do an annual payment because um, every month you have to pay for the postage so what I said earlier is not strictly speaking correct that that needs to be changed it's been so complicated to go through all the scenarios so this is what you're getting for it all the subscribers will receive a joining gift worth at least 15 pound now we are changing this joining gift um, so this is subject to availability and I'm going to keep that as a secret at the moment what you're getting but put it that way it's going to be things that are a little bit off um, what you might expect um, I'm going to feed in a lot of my um, personal um, recommendations and and tips and tricks as much as I can because I know that I sometimes mention it but actually there's so much I use I don't ever tell you about um, so and your joining pack will be posted after the 15th of the month in which you join so this is only so in the future if you um, join at the first of each month then obviously the the, um, the gift that we send out every month that's not a joining gift that's something else will be posted much sooner to the joining uh, to the um, payment date once you are a member the monthly gift will be posted shortly after the day your payment has been taken that's what I've just talked or when you have made your first payment as an annual member. Each month you will receive a gift and that includes a Try Me product and a sheep's watch. Differs every month by post and that's not applicable for the digital membership. So basically what you're getting is we're always sending you a Try Me uh, product out and every month you get a sheep's watch which is different so that you can try out our fibers and see what you think to them. You also get two sets of digital instructions by email. That is the same every month. 
and you will be become part of the sub club and receive a 20% discount. Now this is what our current subscribers already benefit from and you will also benefit from that. These uh, products change every um, every month. I can already tell you that next month it will be 20% of all wool mixes. So I'm giving a lot away here. Um, so exclusive discounts of up to 50% on events Zoom and in-person workshops and 10% discount on purchases at shows and from our shop when you show your flock badge. That's another thing I haven't told you about. Flock badges. Everybody's going to get a flock badge. That's a so on badge that you um, can take uh, to shows and face to face events and then uh, that will entitle you to your 10% off. Access to the private and secret The Makers Flock Facebook group with regular tutorials and flock gatherings. Looking forward to the flock gatherings. And a YouTube group for those, or YouTube link for those who are not on Facebook, where we will build the Makers Flock family. Um, the Makers Flock newsletter with exclusive offers and news. So that's, that's your benefits. Additional benefits. So these benefits I've read out. They are guaranteed every month. Additional benefits. Priority ordering on selected new product launches, discounts on limited edition products. So we will give you a bit of a heads up and a start um, before anybody else. That's just how it is. Um, we will also say that you can cancel your membership and fellowship at any time if you're paying monthly but cannot skip months. If paying annually, you will continue to be a member for the 12 months you have paid for. A refund will not be given. If you cancel your monthly membership and then rejoin, the 12 months before you are eligible for a fellowship will commence when you rejoin. So you can't you can't um, skip a few months or you can't skip, um, but you can't cancel and then start up again and say, oh, but that's 12 months. You have to have 12 months continuous membership to become a fellow this time next year. And um, I think that's it. Yes, so that's it. So the main thing thing is that you um, that you you um, will get your joining gift, and um, and then you get um, a, a try me product. And for those of you who really um, are missing the surprise box and things like that, we've tried our very best to give you still plenty of uh, material to feel creative with. And also, I will be um, we will be starting to list lots of new Zoom workshops. So if you want to challenge yourself a little bit and um, and join the Zoom workshops, you will get fifty percent off as a member of those Zoom workshops. That's basically it, right? Spend a lot of time on this, but it needed to be said. Let's get back to um, or let's just see what people are on um, talking about. Um, so it, Gina says, evening, Steffi and. Carol Colette and a f and Fluff Friends from a dull and cooler Lincolnshire. Uh, yes, definitely cooler here too. Hi, Steffi. A little late, but happy to be here. Hi, Ma Maureen. Um, oh, did somebody say? No, somebody, I thought somebody said good morning. Hi, all. It always make. Oh, no, I've read all of those already. Sorry, sorry. Um, okay, I've read all of those. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can we have a sneak peek at koala bear pretty please i haven't got him with me i'm so sorry katrina i should have i should have brought him with me but i haven't got him with me but um is that photo that i shared was that enough potentially he's about that big and uh, the special technique in there is actually using a reverse needle i was in uh, in an i was an adult size quite young chubby and granny showed me a lovely lilac dress in the same style that she wore I wasn't impressed, but wouldn't have gotten away with saying what I actually thought. So, was an, in an old lady's dress as a pre-teen, or oh bless you, uh, 90s, early um, noughties, granny and my granddad also used to buy my sister and I matching clothes. <laughs> oh no. Um, Katrina says hello a bit late. How is the puppy? Is it called River? She is called River and she is a 100% pain in the hoo-ha, as I would say. Yes, she's definitely a very confident little dog and um, takes no, ta doesn't take no for an answer. But um, lovely, yeah. Yes, I know, no for months for that long, uh, Diane. I know, it's amazing. Um, cute koala, says Katrina. Looking forward to the club membership. Excellent, says Diane. Yay, we will be flocking to join the Makers Flock. 
<laughs> um, looking forward to the vlog, says Heidi. Already got tickets for October show in Glasgow. Looking forward to meeting you. Well, this is where you need to wear your members, uh, makers, um, members flock uh, patch and then you get your 10% off. So exciting to join the flock. Sharon says, hi everyone. Sorry I'm late, I've just got home from work. Um, better late than never. Right, let's get back to um, the um, flower that I'm actually meant to be needle felting. So let's put this on here. And get that fastened down. Okay, so I've also got a little surprise up my sleeve because we have got um, two new products which I will um, um, share with you in a minute. So this typically, with the two new products, we would give um, we would give you the heads up as members that the product is live online and um, and you, you have sort of, um, how can I say, first refusal. But also sometimes in the future we will launch limited um, stock editions and then they, you will be guaranteed to get yours definitely before everybody else and um, if it's up it's up basically that's the idea and I don't want to sound like we don't want other people to be part of um, of our sort of exclusive membership which is one of the reasons why everybody can join the zoom um, the zoom workshops but we just have to um, I, I suppose we've got to accept that sometimes we just want to build um, an exclusive family and that's okay. I think it's okay to have to be sometimes on the inside and sometimes on the outside because we can't all be on the inside. But you could if you wanted to because it's open to anybody. We're not actively excluding you. We're not saying you can't join. Um, and we've, we've really, really tried hard to keep this as, as competitive as possible. So you have oh, everybody always has a choice and um, and this this is um, what it's all about. So yes, there will be some exclusivity because we would fool ourselves if everything was available to everybody. It isn't, it isn't, and it never will be. That's just not how, how life is. But um, you are certainly invited to join this exclusive club and we would love to have you all on board. Everybody, every single person in the whole wide world. Right, this is my little flower finished now. Um, on the outside so now I'm going to give it a center and I'm going to use this bright green so there so I need to fill in um, the, the round part here I've managed to cover it up mostly so I've got to do this a little bit freestyle and get the wool felted down so I'm using my coarse felting needle and I'm still using the technique where I'm folding the wool over if it's on the outside of that circle just get that down first and then felt it down a little bit more with a felt with a um, seven needle uh, sorry five needle felting tool. I'm just going to show you how it compares with a seven needle felting tool. It's um, I think because there's five needles and you probably need to stop just so every so often one more stop. Whatever the some mathematician can work that out. Um, but I think the result is pretty much the same. Now the, the five needle felting tool also works really well with um, um, 2D needle felting. So I think it's a much more versatile tool. Plus it works on our earth friendly felting mat and on our eco wool mat. And therefore you don't need to have an extra brush mat. However, if you do have this tool and um, you've, you have never worked out how to use it, then investing in one of these brush mats might just be what you need rather than getting the uh, Clover 5 needle felting tool. Now this is um, my flower finished. Now because I've had um, obviously an outline to follow, I've been able to keep the um, edges really quite neat. Oh, I'm in trouble now because I just definitely cannot see any scissors. So I might have to, I'm gonna give it a, oh, I know, oh no, I haven't even got my little mini scissors here because I use them all the time and I've got two desks in my um, little studio here. So I'm gonna go and get some scissors, but I might just get the mini scissors because they're actually super easy to use and uh, very effective. Now we don't sell the mini scissors on our website, but they're part of our felt pouch and uh, toolkit. Um, so you can get them if you want to from there. So the mini scissors, let's put them to work. 
cut they cut really well what I like about them is that they have proper proper um, holes to put your fingers in and then just cut around the edge it's quite they're quite effective actually I'm really surprised how well they work sorry can't talk and cut at the same time as it appears um, and remember that the Makers Flock membership, the benefits that we've put together, we have listened to, um, to I, I want to say to all of you. Um, so watch out for those Zoom workshops to come become available because um, the nice thing about this is that there's no upper number. So we can have as many o um, of you on there and we're, we're, we're choosing sort of more, slightly more challenging projects. So actually I can tell you now the Highland Cow is going to be one that we're doing in August so um, right there's the flower now I want to show you the um, special tool which I just got out oh yes right you remember I was talking about the edging tool the makers edging tool we've now got it ready you can buy it on the website it is a little um, square um, it's quite sturdy so you it's not bend you can't bend it so you get two of these um, they've got our our labels on there but they they sit on top of each other it's probably quite hard to see but this is an edging tool and I can actually use it on this flower so you put your wool shape inside and then you're going to stab into the edging tool with your needle felting needle you need to bring that closer to the edge so even though it's a bigger shape than what the actual um, tool is you can use it um, on this as well and then you can neaten out the edge of your flat shape and you can see where the needle is going which is what what makes them so special that they're see-through I know some of you have been using cardboard but you can't actually see where the shape is being felted down so here you can see it very clearly and you can then move along so this this petal here have has been done in the edging tool and the other one hasn't. It also works really well if you need to felt down into these little gaps here because they can often be a bit neglected and they can look a little bit fluffy. So use your felting um, needle to stab right into the gap here and then move it along to do each petal. You, Those of you who are perfectionists will absolutely love this because it will help you to neaten off sometimes these wispy wispy um, edges that you hate so much okay this is and it saves your fingers if you've been trying to do this with holding it between your fingers but you can see exactly where the needle is going without getting your fingers in the way so I think this is quite a good tool and I'm definitely going to use this a lot with um, shaping ears um, shaping yeah, just shaping all kinds of um, of flat pieces, um, flowers, butterflies, anything like that. So the tool itself doesn't actually need to be big to um, neaten off edges of big things. It can be small because you can move it along. And best of all, you can see where your needle is going and um, you keep your finger safe. So what's not to love? So pop on, hop onto our website. It is now available to purchase and it's called the Maker's Edging Tool. It tells you also on there how to use it in case you've forgotten by the time you um, get this tool in the post. So uh, go on back onto the listing and um, find out how to use it. And I'm loving it in particular get going into the space between the petals. This is just so good because that's often um, the area that is actually really quite hard to get into. So I'm going to work, work my way all the way around. It's very satisfying to watch it as well happening in front of you. It's a very satisfying process, um, especially if you like neat edges on anything needle felted. I'd be really interested to um, hear your use of it. So do share it with us on Every Wanna Maker as you share anything that you have made with or from the makers um, products and um, please 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 do tell us when you post on there what you've actually used because that helps other people to know ah that's that wool they've used to make I don't know the fox or 
whatever. So we do want to know what you've actually used that, um, that comes from the makers. Um, remember the everyone a maker, you have to answer three group um, questions and that is obviously on Facebook. And um, we do ask you not to uh, join the group because you're um, wanting to advance your own um, out, um, business practices. Now, of course, if you're not in competition with us, that's absolutely fine. But uh, we would ask you not to share other people's makes. That's a bit like, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but that's a bit like going to um, a Costa coffee coffee shop with your Starbucks cu cup. I think that's just bad manners, really. So please um, respect our rules as well. And, um, and of course, we also need you to be courteous and friendly, but our group is friendly anyway and um yes yeah, so anyway those are just um a few rules i don't feel like i'm telling you all kinds of uh, things tonight anyway i've 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 now neatened up the edges of my flower i didn't have to do this but i wanted to use the the um the tool so the next thing is that you have your hessian square ready um and i can't remember but i will tell you so we say so you need two grams of the main uh, wool color and then you need a 10 by 10 sheet of water soluble paper and a 14 by 14 centimeter um, hessian square. So let's just see what that is. Um, 14 is about there. Fold that in, I'm gonna cut. Let's see if those scissors work on my cutting the square. Yeah, they definitely work on hessian, they just don't work on um, finer fabrics such as water-soluble paper. There. So what I was talking about earlier with the hessian is that it has these, You as soon as you cut it, you probably have one of these odd um, edges coming off. Now that's okay because you can tease them off so that they make this sort of slightly frayed look on purpose. Um, you could also get caught out if you cut, haven't cut this very uh, neat as I haven't. So it's a bit wonky, but you can neaten it out obviously. But the more you unravel it, the more it wants to be unraveled. So be mindful of that, that um, um, this will happen, but um, don't get too carried away and you have nothing left of the fabric. But it is quite a nice look to just pull a few out. There, I'll leave it as that. And then you're going to put your flower into the center, however you want to. And now you can either use a single needle or you can go straight away to your multi-tool and felt the flower straight onto the hessian, nice and firmly, felt it down. And the wool that's already felted through the water-soluble paper and that you saw coming out at the other end is now coming through the hessian. So the more you stab it, the more of it will come through. Doesn't stop you from adding more wool onto it. And um, I've obviously neatened the edges out, but you can, with, with uh, transferring it onto a fabric, you can do that. Um, this is why I said the edging tool is not really necessary for this, because you can neaten the edges by just stabbing into them and straight into the um, hessian um, and, and that will also neaten the edges. So I'm, I'm currently using a coarse needle but that's a little bit of a, I'm being a little bit uh, risk taking here because it doesn't really quite like, it's quite a, a lot of um, fabric to get through the densely felted wool, then the hessian and then into the felting mat. So it's definitely it could quite easily break. Let's try the medium needle. That's better, much, much better. So yeah, definitely, um, especially if you're a beginner, go to your medium needle because the, the um, coarse needle does need pushing through quite a lot. But if you then realize, oh, the center, it's not, hasn't got enough green wool or you want to build up the um, middle a little bit, then just take a wisp of wool. You can still do that. Put it in the center, felt it down, so you don't have to finish the flower 100% before you um, attach it to the hessian. You can still work on it afterwards. And 
go for it. And of course, all of this works on here as well, just to show you. So you can still use your brush mat and your seven, felt, seven needle felting tool to get the whole shape pushed down and uh, the wool will come out of the other uh, other side. And that's pretty much felted on and you can't really see the uh, water soluble paper in there. So it's been completely integrated into the fabric and I think it's such a nice and easy project to do, whether you do a flower or whether you do anything else. So um, I hope, I mean, this is already <laughs> The project done. This is one done. Um, you can make lots more. I should also just say um, a massive big shout out to Carol who very kindly needle felted most of those um, uh, hessian squares um, for me so that I had a display um, uh, as I was absolutely not having the time to do it and it would have been quite stressful. Um, so uh, thank you very much again Carol for doing that and um, I'm just gonna um, check into some of the comments here again. Um, so, um, sorry, there's a bit of pipe cleaner poking into the screen and that's really annoying me. Let's have a look. Um, Pauline says, I'm on my break at work. Oh, nice to see you, Pauline. For the, those of you who are brand new here, do give us a shout out. Just say you're, you've, you've never done it before. Um, love the holder, says um, Anne Hogan. Um, thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm reading surnames out now. hope there's lots of Anne Hogans out there. Sorry, I normally don't do that. Edging tool sounds great. And yes, I tend to be guilty of being a perfectionist. Yeah, and that's not nothing to be guilty about. This will help you beautifully. Brilliant idea. So simple. Much better than cardboard. Great tool, says Heidi. Um, I'll have to get an edging tool as I'm always stabbing my fingers. Definitely, Diane. You don't need to stub your fingers. They um, are good scissors. They really are good scissors, my little, my little scissors. I really love them. They're definitely good scissors. Um, and um, I'll be joining the digital membership. Can worldwide customers get the Try Me swatches quarterly to save on shipping? Oh my goodness. Or be able to combine it with the maker's box? I understand that it will be complicated so it's okay if you can't I probably have to say no to that um, Katrina I'm really sorry but it just gets so complete we're just too big to do it we have too many um, we used to do it at the beginning where we always said add to your subscription and then you could order but then it, we, it started to get so unmanageable that we just physically couldn't do it anymore and Oh, I don't think I can do it. Um, really sorry, Katrina. Are the actual subscription boxes still happening? Yes, we are still doing um, the maker's box. Now, I'm also going to tell you something else. Okay, this is the time of um, letting out all the secrets and the revelations are happening. So, basically, um, the reason why we have stopped the um, fairy subscription box is because... Are you ready? Drum roll. Drrr is because as of August, fingers crossed, um, or was it September? As of September, that's it, July and August, no fairies. We are going to release a new, a new fairy collection and that is under the banner and in cooperation and under license with the official flower fairies. I am so happy. <laughs> So um, those of you who don't know the official flower fairies, I have no idea where have you been. They are just the most um, famous fairies ever. And of course they are based on beautiful drawings. And uh, you must, you must absolutely must know them. Look them up now, just put in um, the official flower fairies and you will be bombarded by images of, um, of fairies. And so we are going to um, put the products out there to you as from September. Now, I don't think that uh, it will work as a monthly subscription box because the fairies are more involved than our fairies were in that you make a lot more accessories with it. So I think one doing one every month is going to be way too much. So I think it's going to be working slightly different in that you, um, you get offered a collection of them. Um, so you pay say for three, which will uh, take you through half a year. And then, um, and so it's slightly different and then we just post it up, but we haven't finalized the details yet because I'm still, uh, we're not even um, through with the design. But um, 
the contract is on my desk, so I can tell, talk to you about it now. So we are really excited to be working with the official flower fairies. Um, what a treat. Tell me what you think of it. Please tell me something nice because I'm dying to hear from from you to give me um, any kind of feedback on that. So I'm going to read the comments now, okay? This is it. Um, so um, Alison says, exciting, excellent, very exciting. Dawn says, I love flower fairies, pictures on my wall, and I even have a book. Oh, yes, I have a book. I, I read it to my children. It was just so enchanting, exciting, um, amazing. Well done, Steffi. Wow, says Anne. Um, congrats, can't wait for September. Wow, flower fairies. Um, Jane, please say you're happy with it because I was so worried about you not getting your fairies. I grew up with the flower fairy books. I know, and you know, I couldn't find our book that I used to read to the children, but, um, saying that it was already a charity shop find when I um, uh, read it to them. But in the back of the book, and I must must find out, um, so I bought a new book recently, but in the back of the book there was this story about this little girl that... Um, that got um, blessed with all kinds of precious and semi-precious stones and I can't find that story anywhere so I really am um, I want to find it because I thought it was so nice um, um, Ola says I love the flower fairies Rosemary says wow um, Angie says nice to see you at the oh nice to see you at the BBC good food show last weekend um, thank you Angie nice to see you too um, just bought the edging tool says Sue Howell thank you very much Sue and um, Pauline says, hi, on my, oh no, we, we were there, on my um, uh, work break. Oh, Lorna says, I think I have some flower fairy books somewhere. Well, bring them to the retreat, Lorna, bring them to the retreat so we can have a look. Going to have um, to Google flower fairy straight after this. Yes, please do, Emma, if you've not seen it. I know it's a very British thing, so if you're outside the UK, you might not have seen it. Um, Sue says flower fairies are my favorite. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, everybody. That's just the response that I wanted. Um, okay, great. Right. That, um, I think that kind of completes um, the, the live stream. Oh, no, I have one more thing to tell you. Um, so we have got another new product. Sorry if you just bought something and um, there's something else. Um, I don't know, some of you have may, may have seen on the social media, we've just run a workshop um, on making a round frog and he was really, really, really popular. He's such a fun character. So if you need a little fun project for a total beginner, then this is the one for you. So um, it's it's based on, on a wool ball as we've done it before, um, where you basically just felt directly onto the wool ball and spot what is not in the kit. You don't get a felting mat in there and it's because you don't need it. So everything is felted straight onto the wool ball. Um, you get those little um, cabochon eyes, that, um, the, the uh, yellow black eyes, and then you get the wool to um, uh, decorate the frog. And of course you get your felting needles and it's all packed up in our usual small kit box. So this is new and it's a real fun, um, a, f a real fun, uh, project. So I thought I should share that with you. Um, oh, I also should just tell you. So there's exciting things coming up. Watch out, Tatty Teddy. Um, oh, sorry, I'm so excited. Um, Tatty Teddy. Um, so we are going to the Festival of Quilts. If any of you are going to the Festival of Quilts, then um, have you spotted that you can actually win yourself a Tatty Teddy needle felting kit? So we, we've done a, co um, a collab on social media, media with them and um, that's going quite well. But not there's another way of um, winning yourself a tatty teddy kit and that is tomorrow watch out for um a, another social media collaboration with um the directly with the from me to you people so this is this is the people that own the license of tatty teddy and of course it's the typical just to remind you who is tatty teddy let's have a look so tatty teddy is this little um teddy bear which is um, um, the little grey bear with the with the patches. He's not he's not meant to be a perfect bear. He's just a tatty teddy, and um, and me to you is um, the brand so to speak. And Carte Blanche owns the license, and um, and so basically you get to win yourself 
um, a tatty teddy kit. So make sure you join, well, not guaranteed, obviously, you can get into the draw of winning yourself a tatty teddy kit. If you if you watch out on social media tomorrow, I think it, I can't remember what time it is, but it will be sometime tomorrow after lunch. And um, so, yes, so make sure you are um, looking at our Instagram um, page and Facebook page where it will be all over so that you can find out what you need to do to enter into the draw to win yourself a tatty teddy kit. Whew, there's a lot to talk about tonight. So anyway, I think I've said enough and the time's up anyway. So I'm going to um, say a quick goodbye to everybody. If you're watching this at any time after the 27th of June, obviously a lot of these things don't apply, but then you're a little bit further ahead and you might be able to join the Makers Flock already or maybe you've joined it already. So really excited to uh, welcome you all on board. Um, Sharon says, thank you so much, Steffi and Carol. Gina says, I love the frog. Um, Rosemary says, oh, I like the frog. Um, I've always wanted to have a go at the flower fairies, but then haven't felt confident enough. So excited, says, says Jane. That That's really good news. Um, I want the fairies and the frog. <laughs> um, says, um, what was that cut free? Uh, and that was Rosemary. Um, how many kids are too many? No kids are too many. Absolutely not. There is nobody going to judge you in the slightest, least of all me and anybody from the makers. So um, take care, everybody. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you next week when we're unboxing the, um, the makers subscription box. And um, I will try and uh, pop a, um, a photo of the koala onto, um, maybe I can put one, I will put one here on the on the chat so you can see what's coming up in the new month. And there will be ways of making him look more realistic. So uh, don't worry, I'll um, impart those, um, those bits of wisdom to you when I'm doing my technical tutorial. So I'm sure that we can work something out. That's all. Bye bye, everybody. Lots of love. Bye.